Woo wee! So much fun going on over here. It's, we got a lot of damage plywood over here. Before I put the Duroc, this is the... I already removed the plywood that was making it two level, two different height levels of floor between the two little bathroom walls, I mean uh, rooms. So I took the flange off, I took the toilet off, took the flange off, the toilet, I put a rag inside there, no debris falling there. Most likely I am gonna replace all this floor plywood, but I wanted, oh, I, I removed the walls, the laminated wall I had there. As you guys can see, this is what it was. This is what was there. This is a repair I did a while back when people were still living here. You know, I couldn't do a big tile project while people live in here, so this was a quick... See, there used to be tile. You see the squares? There used to be one by one. I mean, uh, how, how big is this? That's a five by five or four by four or three by three, whatever it is, but little squares tiles and they got damaged so i had to come while well, people were still living here i had to come and remove all the tile that were damaged and instead of putting tile back i put that i bought like two sheets of this material this came in sheets it's plastic it looks like fiberglass uh the sheets were four foot by eight foot i cut them to size I glue them to that existing wall right there. If you see those lines, that's the lines that I did with the glue. And then I patched it up. But now that nobody's living here, it's time to do it the right way. Because uh, nobody is going to be using the bathroom or shower or anything. So it's an empty unit and I'm able to do a good, good solid job on this now that uh, we have full access to it. So my next step right now, I wanna remove this tub. To make it easy on me, I'm gonna replace this messed up drywall just like this one. So it would make sense for me to cut out drywall first to give myself enough space to maneuver this tub out of there. I have to disconnect it at the overflow, which I already did. And then I have to disconnect it at the drain. I haven't done that. And then I took apart the, the handle set part and the downspout part to remove the, to remove the vinyl wall. Always, hopefully, you should always have shut off valves. This is the shut off valve for the cold water and the hot water for the tub. So I turned those off before I did anything. So there's no water supply to the tub. This is in the bedroom side of the, this is on the bedroom side. There's an access panel right there for the tub. So the water is off. No water comes out of there, even if you turn this on or off or whatever. So we're good with that. Here's the valve for the toilet. I shut that off. It's not leaking or anything, so we're good there. This is the valves for the vanity. This is the drain for the vanity. It has a trap, a U-trap. So my next step now after this is remove drywall and tub. Stay tuned. tuned. So much to do. We'll get it done. No problem. Keep it strong. Keep it going, baby. Yes.